Hello and welcome to the future. How to be a student with a gaming lifestyle. The digital age of gaming and student lifestyle. The digital age of gaming has a huge impact on how we live. Online gamers, majority of which are students, are a valuable demographic for companies to advertise their products and services to. They spend a lot of time on their computers and mobile devices, which makes them valuable targets for advertisers. The number of gamers is projected to grow to as many as 3 billion people by 2020, with more than half being millennials. This growth means that this demographic will continue to be an important one for marketers in the foreseeable future. Expectations form gaming-focused lifestyle as a student. With the evolution of technology, competitive video gaming has become a trendy and trendy hobby for students and professionals alike. A new trend that is catching on is eSports scholarships. Students can now actually get a full-ride scholarship to play video games as their extracurricular activity. Balancing school with playing games while staying productive. Games are an engaging way to keep students' minds sharp, but it's important to make sure that they don't spend too much time playing. It is important for the students to set limits on how much time they spend playing games and what kind of games they play. They also need to make sure that they are making the most of their time spent gaming by balancing it with other activities like studying or getting physical exercise. Scheduling game time and balancing it with academic life. It is important to make sure that the time students spend gaming is not interfering with their academic life. When it comes to gaming, there are a few things you should remember. Number one, they should always keep in mind that gaming during school hours is bad. Number two, they should try and play games that challenge their skills and improve their skill set rather than just mindless games. Number three, make sure to balance the time spent on gaming and other activities such as homework and socializing. They need to strike a healthy balance between all these things so as to ensure that they don't develop any addiction either for video games or other activities such as watching TV, reading books, or playing sports. We hope you learned a lot from this short video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and we will see you in the future.